Outside Your Window, A First Book of Nature, written by Nicola Davis, illustrated by Mark Harold, and published by Candlewick Press. Spring, spring is the busiest season. Plants and animals are waking up after their winter rest, and there's so much to do. Flowers to grow, eggs to lay, babies to feed. Everywhere you look, there's something happening. Water. The icicles melt and water whispers, drip, drip, drip. The stream flows and water chatters, gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. The rain falls on the grass and the water sings, grow, grow, grow. Bulbs. Look, look, there's a green shoot in the snow. A bulb is sprouting. The cold still bites and the wind still blows, but something tells that bulb that it's time to grow. Inside its brown coat and layers like an onion, a tiny pulse beats, counting out the days like a calendar. So the bulb knows winter's almost gone and soon it will be time for leaves and flowers. Listen to the pond, listen. Can you hear it? Hrump, hrump, hrump. The frogs are croaking in the pond and laying eggs like spotted jelly. Next week, the spots will be wiggly tadpoles. Next month, they'll grow a pair of legs. By summer, there'll be tiny frogs that leap off into the world. And one night in another spring, when they're big frogs, they'll be back. Hrump, hrump, hrump. Catkin song. All along the winding river, in the hedges by the lane, on the wasteland by the factory, spring is coming once again. Dancing golden yellow catkins, pussy willows silvery shine, side by side on twigs and branches, showing winter's had its time. Dan Dandelions bloom like little suns, but the flowers don't last long. They fold up like furled umbrellas pointing at the sky. Then each rolled umbrella opens into a puff of down. A hundred fluffy parachutes, each carrying a small brown seed. Just one blow and you can set them flying. Migration. In the treetops, in the bushes, there are new songs and colors. The little birds are back. They've flown so far over forest, mountains, deserts, seas, such a long, long way to get back to us. Yet, here they are, bright and alive, fluttering, singing, ready for spring. Gull flight, flap, 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 flap. The gull runs into the wind, wings working hard for takeoff. Flap, flap, it scoops the air with the big long strokes and climbs into the sky. Soar. It holds its wings straight and still to ride the warm air up, up, up. Glide, and now it bends them to make a W and slides down the wind toward the sea. Lamb's tails. Lamb's tails wiggle when they're happy. A wiggle, wiggle, squiggle that shows, shows just how they feel. You'll see it happen when a lamb is feeding. It butts its mom and starts to suck, then watch its tail go. All over the fields in spring, lamb's tails are wiggling. When you see them, you just want to smile. Nesting. The birds are busy nest building, dashing back and forth, first with twigs and grasses to make the nest cup, then with wisps of fluff and tiny feathers to make a soft, cozy lining that will keep their eggs all safe and warm. Cherry blossoms. Last week, the twigs were just twigs, bare and black and boring, but now blossoms. At first, there were only little patches of pink petals, but now blossoms, blossoms. In parks, on streets, in gardens, Pools of pink spread, and now we're lost in blossoms, blossoms, blossoms. Rainbows. 
When the sun shines through the rain, watch out for rainbows. Sunlight's made of colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, all mixed together. But when sunlight shines through the rain, the raindrops can unmix the colors. Then watch out for rainbows. Planting seeds. Seeds are so small, so hard and dry, like fingernails or grains of sand. How can they grow into something you can eat? With your help, they can. Plant them in some soil, crumbly and moist as cake mix, not too deep and not too shallow, then water them, then wait. Underneath the earth, the seeds soak up water, swell and come to life. When you see the shoots of green, you know your seeds aren't seeds anymore, but baby carrots, squash, corn, and cabbage. Your tiny seeds have grown into things that soon you'll want to eat. We just read the first section of this book in, on spring, but there's also a section on the season of fall, one for winter, and one for summer. It's a really beautiful book. We're focused on spring today though. We're going to make stained glass windows in this lesson. So you'll need a piece of watercolor paper, a set of watercolors, of course, and a brush. You'll need some clean water and you'll need some sort of masking tape. So let's get started. All right, we're ready to get started. So the first step in this project, a stained glass window, is to add the tape on the paper. Now a stained glass window has lots of sections and that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make sections on this paper and they can go any way you want as long as they go from one side to the other. So I'm gonna put a piece right here. And I've got a little background that I'm working on. You can work on a background or you can work on a table. Make sure you check with an adult. And then I'm gonna pull this out this way and I'm gonna do another section right here. These will be a beautiful reminder to take a look at your window and see what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna put one, let's see, I'll put one right here. So I'll make this new section right here. Maybe I'll go like this. And then I'm gonna do one more lengthwise. Maybe two more. You'll see my granddaughter working on one of these. She and I did this on a sunny day. Let's see, I think I'll do one just like this. All right, so I've got lots of nice sections here on my paper. Now, the next thing is that you're going to paint the white parts that aren't taped. And don't worry, you don't. You can paint right over the, the tape, although if you're using a cheaper masking tape, it might fall apart. I usually try and stay inside the white parts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my brush really wet and I'm gonna choose one of my favorite colors, which is blue. And I'm gonna fill in this little space right here. One of the fun things about watercolor is there's lots of ways to use it. And one of those ways is called wet on wet. If you watched our, one of our first watercolor videos, we did that. So you can take a section and you can put some water on it and then you can drop some paint in it and watch the paint move around. The paint moves the water around. So go ahead and fill in all of your spaces with watercolor and watch Avery do the same. She uses a wet on wet technique. And then the next step is you must, you have to let it dry because if you don't let it dry and you take the tape off, the tape will tear your paper. So you have to let it dry. We got to leave ours in the sunshine. If you've got sunshine where you are, then you can do the same. If not, you're just gonna have to let it dry. And then you'll see we gently take the tape off and we have this beautiful stained glass window. 
If you like your stained glass window just the way it is, that's fabulous. But if you wanna add some pictures right over the dried paint, you could draw some birds or some beautiful flowers or trees. You can add to this in any way you want. You could even collage by cutting out different pictures. So I'm gonna finish this and you're going to watch Avery finish her stained glass window. Thank you.